Despite their creepy, crawly names, spider plants are among the most popular house plants. These long-lasting plants can be grown any time of the year. Nick Fedoroff takes us in the garden. Today in the garden, or shall I say, in the greenhouse, we're going to be focusing on the spider plant. And, oh, wait a minute, spiders, Ugh. no, there's no reason to have any kind of arachnophobia around this because that's just the name of the plant, spider plant. There's no, it doesn't attract any kind of spiders as a matter of fact, but what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna propagate it. As a matter of fact, I'm even gonna show you how to propagate this plus other plants today at the Fairplex at the home show at 11 a.m. So you make sure that you're there and we're gonna talk all about plant propagation. That's at the Fairplex 11 a.m. and the home show is free on top of that. Now, speaking of free, you can get so many free plants out of this spider plant. And what we're gonna do is this. First off, you see all these little legs right here? These are kind of like the spider legs of the plant. They could be absolutely beautiful or they can be a huge problem too. But if we wanna take and grow this plant, knowing the, that this is a plant, this one plant will live up to 25 to 30 years if you take care of it. But on the, the best part about it is, it's probably one of the best plants to start with if you've never grown a plant before. It is so easy to grow. It'll take a little bit of abuse. So that being said, how do we propagate this? Well, one of the ways that we can do this is by taking and getting ourselves some soil. Now, this, uh, and then if you look at these things, these are, these are what we call the pups. These little pups where, the, where it flowers off, they'll actually root over here. So we're gonna take this and put this container here. We've got some soil in it. We're gonna squish it in while it's still attached to the plant. And then we're just gonna take a little, little board right here, a little uh, stick, just to hold it down. Now this plant will eventually, probably in about three to four weeks, we'll keep it nice and moist, not wet, it's gonna start, and it's gonna start to grow. Once you know that it starts growing, you're gonna see the new growth off of it, all you have to do is cut it off like this, and you've got new plants growing. How cool is this? So that's one way of plant propagation. Another way of plant propagation is by taking and pulling this plant out of the container, and when we pull it out of the container, we can see all of these beautiful roots. Is this amazing? Look at that. Look, we even have some bonus plants in here that we'll take and we'll grow. So look at these plants, look at these roots. They're gorgeous. So we have several plants that are inside this thing and it's a little bit hard for us to uh, just break it up. So I'm just gonna use a sharp knife or we're gonna cut away. So we're gonna cut away at this thing. This is gonna drop like this. How, how, how beautiful is this? This plant right here is called the Tradescandia. It's Tradescantia. And we can actually grow it from this one little tiny root right here. That's gonna grow. Put that in the ground, you bet I'm gonna do that. But we have all of these roots over here. I love it. We're gonna kinda trim this down a bit. So I can set it inside my container. My container's right here. We're gonna plop this inside the container like this, a little bit more, a little too high. And then we'll take some soil, backfill it with soil. And that's how we propagate the plants. So come on down, I'll see you at the Fairplex today at 11 o'clock. Remember, it's free here in the garden. Oh, by the way, give me a telephone call. 1-800-405-NICK.